Unfortunately, summer is almost over, which means we're getting ready for back to school. The back to school and back to college season is the second highest spending season behind the winter holidays. Bottom line, we're expecting back to school sales to increase 2 to 3 percent. That's ahead of the 40 basis points growth a year ago. This is supported by seven key takeaways. Number one, macro. We're seeing several macro positives. This includes lower gas prices, a lower unemployment rate, higher wage growth, and a lower savings rate. This offsets the negatives, which include a lower consumer sentiment, most likely driven by the political uncertainty, unfavorable weather, and fewer tax-free shopping holidays. So on those tax-free shopping holidays, which is number two, this year shoppers will have nine fewer days. This is due to a budget crunch in Massachusetts, and Florida is actually decreasing its number of tax-free days from 10 down to 3. Consumers buy a lot of things not necessarily just back-to-school related, so this will impact more than just back-to-school. Number 3. Where are people shopping? Historically, discount stores and department stores were the two largest shopping destinations. Discount stores are expected to see a 100 basis point decrease in traffic, while department stores are expected to see a 400 basis point increase. Consumers plan to shift their shopping really to online, no surprise, at about a 1,000 basis point increase. And the drugstores are also a winner here with a 200 basis point increase. Bottom line, as retailers become more and more creative with social media, the department stores are winners here with a pickup in the 400 basis points. Number four, in-store experience. We see stores making a real effort with making things more simple for back-to-school shoppers. For instance, JCPenney is locating fixtures stocked with merchandise featured on the mannequins for sale right next to them for a full head-to-toe look. Shoppers can easily assemble complete outfits just by shopping the fixtures. Number five, buying new. The biggest back-to-school categories are clothing and accessories at 35% of total sales and electronics at 30%. Clothing is expected to grow this year at 8% year-over-year and school supplies at a whopping 10%. We believe that the consumer is feeling better and she wants to buy new rather than recycling from previous years. Number six, strong fashion trends. We're seeing a sleeker look for fall. In addition, we believe the consumer is going to be layering both positives and new looks. Number seven, shopping earlier. By August 9th of last year, back to school shoppers had only completed 50% of their shopping. 20% had yet to start. This year, an anticipated 73% will have looked at their list a month to two months before school starts, an 11% increase from a year ago. This is driven by strong social media and promotions at retailers which look to drive mindshare. We also think Amazon's Prime Day may have influenced the consumer to start earlier. All in all, the total spend projections for 2016 are optimistic and positive versus a year ago. We think this is also a huge positive for winter holiday 2016. Please read our full report on our website you can find the links to these reports in the description below and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights. Thanks for joining us.